The world's many celebrated authors employ an array of techniques in Japan. The Kyoto novelist does this. The London writers do this. And the Buenos Aires authors do this. So there should be kind of two main things I pick up on there. Contextually, we definitely see a list here, right? We have three locations where all the writers or authors are doing something differently, right? But on top of that, we should grammatically see a list too. I should notice my semicolon here and my semicolon and here. So remember, this is a huge giveaway. If I ever see semicolon and, it's not a period. It's going to be used to separate items in the list, specifically three, which we've already outlined, right? We should also notice in these problems, it's all about parallel structure. Notice how Argentina, comma, Buenos Aires, England, comma, London, that means it should be Japan, comma, Kyoto. So automatically we can get rid of A and D for that reason, right? And again, we're talking about a list here. We're listing three things. So I don't really understand and see how we'd go from techniques, comma, into listing three things. It would totally make sense to go um, employ an array of techniques and then to list three things after our colon, right? So this is, you know, one of our easier uses of the colon. We clearly see three things being listed after techniques. It's going to be B here. 